Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the virtual camera in OBS. So how to actually record with the virtual camera in OBS. And so how to set it up as well. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now the OBS virtual camera is a camera input you can actually use as a webcam. So you can either record your face or even your desktop. Now the button as you can see is right here. It says start virtual camera with little settings next to it here. Now if you don't have this, that probably means that you're running an older version of OBS and should update it. Now if you're within OBS already itself, you can easily do that by going to help check for updates. And then if any updates are available, just click on them and update it to this latest version. That's just in case, but I do assume that most of you will have that button right here already. And now what you actually want to do first here to actually set it up is you want to add a scene. So you can do right click and add scene. Now I have already this one, so I'm just going to add it right here. It's actually nice if you have another source like a display capture or of course, for example, a game. So you do right click. I can add a game capture as well here. But whatever you put underneath, what's important, of course, is that you actually also, of course, add the virtual camera itself. So we do that by right clicking, add source, I click video capture device. Now here you can actually name it whatever you want. You click OK. So here you have the devices. So you have a drop down of the different devices that are available. Now if you have a webcam, of course it will be here. And this is the moment that you're going to select your webcam. Make sure it's on, make sure it's connected so that OBS can actually recognize the device and add it in the list here. So do make sure that you have those steps as well. But on top of that, you also have the OBS virtual camera itself. Where as I said, you can, for example, show a desktop. In this case, this is what we can do. So I'm going to do the OBS virtual camera. And then here underneath you have some smaller settings here. Color space you can put to rec 709 that's actually something i would advise in this case but for the rest there's not really anything too important it's a bit more specific but really the most important part is that you actually select the right device then click ok now right now i'm sure you can only see the obs virtual camera page here so if i do this you'll be able to see my my desktop i'm recording again but as you can see i can put it in the corner here if you did your webcam of course this will be your webcam and you'll probably see your face right here i can actually size it to whatever size you want of course now what is very important if you're actually gonna record is that you click of course on start virtual camera so we can do it right now so right now it's starting as you can see it's just once again recording whatever is being recorded right here because it's my desktop and that's also what you can do so that can actually be useful if you're in a meeting or anything like that or you want to use it for another platform where you need a webcam you can actually just also instead of showing your face you show your desktop then you click stop now then what you can do is for example if you want to know where it has been saved you can go to file show recordings or you go down here to settings output i'm gonna to go to recording and right here what well, i'm recording so it's grayed out but basically in the recording path make sure you look what it is for you otherwise you click browse here and this is going to decide where the recordings will go so if for example right now i'm recording and i'm actually able to show the camera the virtual camera make sure that if i just end this recording right now if i would have ended my obs recording i would have known where the recording went together with that virtual camera integrated of course and that basically is going to be in this path right here so now you click apply and okay now here as you can see i have a software called voice me to banana now, i do have videos on my channel on how to download voice meter and how to actually use it in detail so they actually show you how to set up voice meter in detail they are available on my channel so if you want to check them out you can go ahead but basically to go over the basics here you can use voice meter banana for the audio if you want audio during the virtual camera you can actually add an audio so you're going to go to the first one it's called stereo input one but i renamed it to microphone you click on it make sure it's wdm in this case sometimes it might be mme that the band if you see that you have some trouble a crackling voice or a problem with anything like that you can go for mme but those are for more detailed cases let's say select your microphone so mine is going to be the blue yeti here and if you want to hardware out you're going to go to a1 in this case you do mme normally once again you can actually alternate between wdm and mme see which ones works better for you if one might be a bit laggy choose the other one and i'm just going to go for my speakers here which in my case will be my headphones and here i would actually if i do a1 here i would actually hear myself talk right now i don't want that but that's how i would actually hear myself and so basically if you have that and go back to obs here and go to settings audio and then here as an input now i have multiple ones because of multiple voice meters but basically as an input you would select this one right here which as you can see is connected to b1 input you can do voice meter out b1 as you can see i'll probably choose this one right here and you know if you want any outputs like for example here this is going to be for your desktop audio and once again i explained it more in detail in that video but in any case you can also do an output where you can actually manage the sound of desktop sounds music and with sounds within windows make sure that in that case you select that as an output right here once again among these voice meter or cable input outputs here probably want to select this one by the way and so if you actually want to monitor your audio you can actually go down here go to advanced monitoring device and then here you select, for example, voice meter as the monitoring device. So you can actually keep an eye on the audio actively if you want that, of course. Then click once again, apply and OK here. But so do know you can also use another software like voice meter, which is meant for you to use your voice without recording because with voice meter, you don't need to record. You just have to just have to launch the software here, as you can see, out the input and the output and then whatever other program you're going to use. So it could also be Discord. You just make sure that you have the right input here and the right output here, for example, selected if you're going to use voice meter in this case. So then here I'm actually going to show you here in 
Discord, how to set it up, if for example you want to use it for that. So you go down to your user settings, go down to voice and video. And so here, if you're just going to use Discord normally, you can just do your microphone that you're using, select that one as an input, and select your speakers here as an output. That is if you're going to use Discord regularly. Now, if you actually want to do this through voice meter, make sure you do show more here, and you select once again one of the inputs of voice meter. Now, I actually think we chose out B1 here. That was what it was connected to. In that case, select that one as an input. Any output depends why you have connected the output to, but you can, for example, do the cable input here, virtual audio cable, or another one once again. That depends really what you select as an output. If you go to the video tab, as you can see, you can always preview a video if you want to enable that, test the video. And here, it already recognizes it, as you can see, because we are running OBS here. Now, I did turn off the virtual camera, so make sure it's on here. You can select it. Or once again, something else like your webcam. And you'll see it right here. Now, I only have the example window, which is once again this one here. But if you might notice, and you might notice this as well if you're using a webcam, is that it's flipped. It's flipped the other way around. It's reversed. And so how you actually do that, it's important that you actually, within OBS, right click on the source. So now in this case, I want it to be the virtual camera, so the webcam maybe in your case. Make sure that source is selected. I want to right click on it, transform and flip horizontal. This right here is going to be in reverse for you, but it will actually be flipped the right way in the recording, in the Zoom meeting, in Discord, wherever you want to use this for. But anyways, guys, there you go. I tried to cover the essentials of how to actually set up virtual camera and OBS so that you can actually start using it as soon as possible and the different things that you have to do. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Please, if you like, it would be really nice. Subscribe to us, really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.